Hi, my name is Rachel and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get your books that you've purchased on Kindle over to your Kobo if you've recently switched from Kindle to Kobo for whatever reason. Now, I'm just going to have a disclaimer right now. Disclaimer. This is completely legal. If you have paid for the ebook that you are moving from one device to another, this is not me showing you how to upload anything for anyone on the internet. And I do not condone piracy and please support authors and especially indie pub authors when and if you can. The reason I'm making this video is because I just got a new Kobo Libra color and I didn't want to lose access to all the books that I had on Amazon because I've had the Kindle Paperwhite and then before that I had the Kindle Fire tablet for like the longest time so I've accumulated a lot of ebooks over the last decade or so and I found that when I was looking for ways to move over my ebooks to the Kindle the easiest to follow and the best video that I saw in particular was from Dylan can read I'll link his video down below however I did notice that when you move over the ePubs to the Kobo not all of them give you the reading tracking time and statistics for the book as you're reading which is such a great feature that the Kobo offers for example I'll show you the stats that I'm talking about yeah, so I did notice that a lot of the EPUBs weren't able to be read by the Kobo device to display those stats. I feel like that's one of the draws to this, other than the color, obviously, but just Kobo in general, those stats are so cool. And I wanted to have access to them, so I figured out through Reddit dives and asking random people on the internet who I knew also had just recently got a Kobo, piecing together the information that I was given, because when I was trying to figure out how to change the EPUBs into the KEPUB file format, I couldn't find a single like comprehensive list of like what you needed to do so I combined them <laughs> in here to make it easier for you because I'm sure there's other people out there like me too who want to know as well all right let's get into the tutorial okay so the first thing you're gonna want to do is download the caliber plugin if you just google the word caliber it'll pop up this should be the first option for you and then the download links are here even in the Google search area for you making it extra easy if you click the download option it will bring you to the page with all of the files for different operating systems Obviously, I'm going to choose Windows and then you would choose Mac or Linux if you're on those. So from here, you're just going to download and follow the instructions. You'll notice it will start downloading up here. If you're on PC, Mac, wherever you are, it'll download for you. So once you have that downloaded, the next thing you're going to want to do is download the DDRM plugin, DE and then DRM. You can search DDRM or you can search DDRM plugin. It should bring this up first. It's a GitHub link. And then you're going to click here and the file that you need is right under assets, this top file that that looks like a square. The zip file, you're going to click on it and download. So once the DDRM plugin file downloads, it should open and then you're going to want to extract this file and then I'm going to do it to my folder that I have here called books. As you can see, I've already done it. My DDRM is there, select folder, and then you just want to extract it will open it as such and then once you've done that you can close it and now I want you to go back to your downloads folder and then you're gonna click and install caliber I've already installed caliber so I'm gonna cancel mine here but you just want to hit next and follow all of the instructions it's simple now when you open your caliber app it's going to be empty in here or there might be one book that's called like walkthrough or tutorial or something like that I can't remember but I deleted it <laughs> and what you're gonna want to do first is go to your preferences on PC your preferences is in this top row here on Mac, you're going to have like your three dot menu thing in the corner here. You're going to click there and go to preferences there. Once you have your preferences open, go down to the bottom, click plugins, and then you're going to select this blue folder that says load plugin from file. And then now here, you just want to find whatever file you extracted your DDRM plugin to, and then you're going to click the DDRM plugin here and open. It's going to pop up and say installing a plugin is a security risk. Obviously that is a risk you're willing to take if you want to get your Kindle books that you've paid for over to your Kobo. So you're going to hit yes and then if you don't want to take that risk then thanks for watching and see you later. <laughs> Mine is already installed so that was quick for me. Yours might take a second longer. It's going to pop up and say okay or restart Caliber. Now you're just going to want to restart your Caliber app immediately because it'll be the easiest for you and it should open itself back up on its own when it's all done. Now we're gonna go back to preferences and go back to that same plugin page. And then you're gonna find the plugin that you just added under file type and then select DDRM here. And then at the bottom, you're gonna click customize plugin. 
this little box will pop up and the only thing you need to click here is the top one e-ink kindle ebooks mine will be covered here but this is where you're going to enter your kindle serial number so that way when you download your ebooks that you've paid for from your amazon account that are locked to your specific kindle you will be able to remove that lock on them so you can use them on your kobo i'm going to click plus enter your serial number there click ok there's nothing in mine so it told me <laughs> i did it wrong and then you'll see your number here again i'm not going to show you mine but you will see your kindle serial number right here if you don't know where to get your kindle serial number you can go on your kindle go to all settings then select device options and then the top option should say device info and then once you click that it'll bring up a menu where it shows you a bunch of information and your serial number will be one of them or if you're already on your computer and you don't have your kindle near you you can go to your amazon account and click on devices and then you'll be able to see your serial number for your kindle under your devices tab as well on Amazon. So I'm going to close here and then you hit OK. Now we're going to stay on the plugins page. One of the best parts of the Kobo is that it gives you reading stats for the book you're currently in and all of the books on your Kobo in general. So if you want to be able to see how much time is left in a chapter and see stats about the book that you're reading, then you're going to want to change these files from EPUBs to KEPUBs, which is the Kobo EPUB file. So we're going to click at the bottom here, get new plugins, and then Using this top bar, you're going to search for the plugins that I'm about to show you and install all of them. These are all of the plugins that you're going to need to convert to KEPUB. So I'll read them out for you. KEPUB input, KEPUB metadata reader, KEPUB metadata writer, KEPUB output, and Kobo touch extended. These are all built in directly to the search bar, so you can find them easily on caliber itself. Once you've downloaded all of those, you're going to close it. It may prompt you to restart caliber here. I already have mine installed, so it didn't give me a menu. But once you've installed all of those, go ahead and either restart your caliber if it asks you to, or you can just click apply at the bottom here and then close this page. The next thing you're going to do is go to your Amazon account and go to your content library. As you can see here, it shows me my content that I have. And then I'm going to click on books. Oh, this just came out today. You're going to see your list of books here that you've purchased. Now this will only work with books you've purchased and it is also only legal with books that you have purchased or acquired. Like, you know, if it was free on Amazon one day, if you downloaded it as a free thing from Amazon, like obviously that's legally yours. But you're going to go over to the right side here, the page and click more actions. And then the second option is going to say download and transfer via USB. You want to click that and then you're going to select the name of your Kindle and then hit download. And then as you can see here, it's going to download that file for you. Mine has Caliber logo on it, showing that it is obviously a book file. And then you can just take that file from your downloads folder, drag and drop it and copy it over. I already have this book, so it's popped up and told me that I already have it. So I'm just going to hit cancel. And then your book will pop up in your caliber and you'll be able to see the cover over here. Um, you might not have this information over here because we're going to do that here in a second. So now if this uploaded and for some reason the, the title was wrong or maybe it had extra information in the title like how this has the spear cuts through water a novel on it if it has any extra information that you don't want to see on your kobo you can just edit here i'm not going to do that however right here you can click download metadata and what this is going to do i have it to search google amazon and edelweiss for essentially the isbn and any summary and information about the author and then that way it will attach it to your file to show up over here and then you hit okay and then after that you can go to this orange book here Click convert and then you can scroll down and select KEPUB and then hit OK. And then it's going to convert that file to a KEPUB, which we will then transfer to the Kobo. So at this point, you're going to want to go ahead and plug your Kobo into your computer. There will be a pop up on your Kobo that says computer detected, and then you're going to hit connect. Once you connect, this top area of your Caliber app will reload itself. Give it a moment. There we go. Now, as you can see, a new tab has appeared here at the bottom that says on device. So it will show you books that you haven't yet transferred over, which I think is perfect because as, as you can see, I have so many Kindle books that I'm transferring over. And then up here, you can see your library on Caliber itself, or you can click over and see the library of your device like so. Now in your Caliber library, once you've converted whatever you want to KEPUBs, I've just done all of mine as KEPUBs because I feel like it's easier to just 
make sure they are all KEPUB. You're going to click send to device. If I click that, it's going to tell me I already have this book because I do. So I'm just going to hit no, but then it will pop up with a check mark next to your book once it's been added to your KEPUB. And now this is the most important part. Make sure when you are done, you eject your Kobo. Do not just unplug it. So there's a little arrow here next to the device option and you're going to click that and then click eject device. And then that will reload back to its standard format and the on device column will also be removed from your view. And then you should be able to open your Kobo and see your book. Now I know a lot of people who use e-readers and are in the bookish space online also get a lot of arcs from NetGalley. So I'm gonna show you how to get your arc from NetGalley onto your Kobo as well. Once you're on NetGalley, you're gonna to wanna to go to your shelf and then find the arc that you want to download. As you can see, I've already done this, so I do know that it works. You're gonna click download. And then once that file opens, you're gonna see that it looks different than how the other book did from Amazon. It isn't yet ready to be transferred over to Caliber. So we're gonna download one more thing. And that is Adobe Digital Editions. This is from Adobe and it is free. And you're gonna download that. Again, download if you have Mac or Windows, whichever one, follow the download instructions. I'm not gonna do it again because I already have it on my computer. And then I'll open that back up. So once you've downloaded Adobe, your next step is going to be to follow the instructions that were on the NetGalley, I guess, fact page for how to download your NetGalley arcs here. The step one is going to say download Adobe, which we've just done. And then step two is going to be to authorize your Adobe digital editions. So for this, you will need an Adobe account, which is linked in the NetGalley fact page. I will link this fact page and the Adobe page down in the description bar for you. So check it out there. Once you sign up for your free Adobe digital editions, account. Then you're going to go to the help bar in the Adobe Digital Editions app, and then you should be able to click authorize computer, and then it will have you log in. So just log in with whatever Adobe account you just created, and then we'll go from there. Open Adobe, and then we're going to transfer this file that we just downloaded directly into Adobe itself. Bam. And then it's going to pop up with the whole book open, and then you're going to click back to the library. And then from here, you're going to right click on the book that you want. And then you're going to click show in file explorer. As you can see, I've already done it here twice, but it's going to open up here and you can see that it has the caliber logo on it now. And at this point it is ready to transfer over. So you can exit Adobe, take your ebook, drag it over to caliber, and it's going to copy that for you here. Bam. There is your ebook from NetGalley onto your Kobo. Again, you're going to want to click the orange button and then you can scroll down and convert it to K EPUB. Hit OK. So you get those reading stats while you're in your Kobo reading the book. Again, plug it in, do the same thing that I showed you to transfer it over. It will show that it's not connected to your device yet. And then you're good to go. Make sure you eject your Kobo. I will link anything that you need to download in the description down below. Caliber, DDRM, and the Adobe Digital Rights Management as well. And then I will also have a list of the plugins that you need to do the KE pub file as well which will have been on the screen when I did the tutorial, but I will list them out again for you down below just in case. I think I've explained everything that you need to do. I made a list of notes before I filmed the tutorial, but if any of you try to follow this and you get stuck, let me know. I will do my best to help you and I hope that it works for you. And again, like I said, just make sure you're not using this to pirate books and this is only legal for books you've purchased. Keep that in mind. If you've made it this far in the video, leave a duck emoji down in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oops. <laughs>